Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to play with some new toys. Uh, I want to first and foremost start out by thanking all of the sponsors of the show. I don't thank you guys nearly as much as I probably should, but uh, you guys really do keep the lights on around here. And uh, I have three areas you can help support uh, Think Life Media. Patreon and subscribe star head on over to the website at switchlinks.com forward slash support for more of those well about uh, two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago it was a, one of the Wednesday streams uh, we were talking about different things and uh, and I, somebody brought up hey you get a capture card or something I said well you know if someone wants to buy me one go for it well thanks guys <laughs> Um, somebody actually on that stream, we were looking at like a $20 cheap capture card and somebody's like, Hey, here's 20 bucks. Go get a capture card. Like, awesome. So, uh, I actually got a different one. I spent more money than I did. Hey, I got enough supporters to help fund it. But, um, um, Moonbase Alpha Grays, you might've seen him on the channel. He uses this capture card. This is a zero latency vide USB box this guy here i went with because it explicitly supports linux from kernel i think it's 2.6 or 2.9 later and um, so it basically uh, decrypts all of the audio and video feeds uh, into uh, into a, the basic um, open source codex that you can feed right on into a usb3 channel this one also has a pass-through and so far, it works pretty nice. Sadly, I will not be able to use it to take any footage off of the Pine Tab because the Pine Tab, uh, it will work with it. It's just the Pine Tab doesn't have a way to mirror the displays, and so I only get extended desktops and stuff. Uh, but what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to look at setting up a DSLR camera as a camera to replace this webcam that I'm going with now. And uh, if this works, I'm recording this Friday before the news. If this works well, I'll be using this on the news. And then, so this one will come out the day later. You know how it goes. So I'm recording this well into the future. Now, when I picked up the capture card, I spent a little bit of extra money. I end up picking up, uh, this guy here is a, uh, uh, a power adapter for a camera. So I'm not running on battery. Uh, you do need to have an extra HDMI cable, and for my camera's case, it has a mini HDMI, so I did not have to buy this. Fortunately, one of these guys came with my Raspberry Pi Zero. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to pop the, uh, the battery component in there. So the battery is actually charging, so there's no battery in there right now, and I only have one at this moment. And uh, we're just going to slide this guy in. And then there's a little pop feed. So this is a um, EOS SL2. So good 60 frame per second camera there. So there's a little pop out tab there. You want to pop that guy out. And then this guy will be able to close just nicely. So this guy will plug in if I close it, right? If I close it, it'll close nicely. There we are. Now I got it. So this guy will plug into the back of an AC adapter that is already plugged in. And now I'm just need to mount the camera onto the base stand here. Actually, I think this is a crazy new tripod. My other tripod died. So I pretty much upgraded all my equipment except the camera itself is still good. I have considered getting a, um, uh, a better aperture lens, but uh, I decided to pass on that for now. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the side chamber here and we're going to plug in the HDMI. Uh, and this guy goes into the mini HDMI and then we're going to plug this guy into our full HDMI cable here. All right. And that's all set up. And so now I have the camera going in and I have my power source coming out the bottom of the camera. So we're going to go ahead and mount this guy on the tripod. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we have set everything up, and so uh, the camera's on the tripod, the camera's turned on, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the output on the camera into this guy. I'm not going to bother with a feed out. I'm just going to re literally rely on OBS here to show me what, uh, what that's going to look like. And so what we're going to do next is I need to plug in the capture card. Now before I do that, I'm going to need to go ahead and have a look at what I'm seeing on OBS. So you guys have got one of those rare scenes behind the scenes here on OBS. Let's go ahead and find my uh, basic desktop view here and go ahead and do that. 
And now you guys will be able to see what's going on in OBS. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just plug the capture card in. And then there's gonna be some settings we need to change on the camera itself because it's about to turn off here. Okay, so now that's on. So here I can turn this guy off. Let's see, where are we guys at here? Let me make sure you guys can see what I can see. There we are, now you guys can see what I can see. So here if I can turn, this is the web camera, whoa. I'm sorry, that's the DSLR, and that's the web camera. So you can kind of see what the differences is going to look like. All right, so with that, now uh, we need to make a couple other small changes. First, you can see that, whoa, it can follow my autofocus. That's because autofocus is annoying. But there's other settings we want to do first. So the first setting we want to do is we want to go in and we want to turn off the auto turn off. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, open up the screen's uh, menu so you'll be able to see what those look like because that's going to happen. After one minute, the screen will turn off. And then it'll take a second to turn back on. Hey, there we are. So I'm going to go ahead and change those settings so you'll see what that looks like. There you go. Camera settings, that's one we need. And then auto power off. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so now that auto power is turned off, the next thing we need to do is we need to disable autofocus because on the uh, Canon DSLRs, the autofocus is there. So that is on the lens. And there's two of them. One of them is the stabilization, one of them is the autofocus. There we go. Now, of course, I do have to make sure I'm manually in focus. It will not manually focus. So make sure you're always, if you're doing that, double check that your focusing works right. All right, so there we have it. So now we can get much better quality feeding our DSLR through rather than feeding through the webcam. So again, let's go ahead and uh, go back to our main capture here. So you, here you can see uh, on the screen, let's see, what do you see? You guys do not see the main capture yet. Um, here I'll switch back. Here is your webcam. And here is the DSLR. So you can see how much better of a quality that gets. Now it's still, still dark in the background. There's some things I can do. I can adjust the ISO settings and stuff like that. So before I'm actually gonna do a solid recording, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and change all those. But hey, now we have very nice setup equipment utilizing a much better quality camera than a basic webcam. So I can use this going forward, get a lot better, uh, lot better results on the, the video feeds on times I don't need the, um, uh, when I don't need the capture card for looking at something else. So hopefully this will help out. And once again, I just wanna thank the supporters for uh, helping to fund the capture card and some of the other equipment and just uh, helping out in general that I can come in and, and get such nice gear and um, put together some videos. And you guys just let me know what else I should do with the capture card. I do have a couple of ideas. Um, but with that, uh, I think what we're gonna do is wrap this one up from here. Um, and uh, I'll hopefully come back with some better settings soon. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.